Welcome back one and all to Mark My Words where I give you some easy to digest information about the latest games along with some honest thoughts and opinions slapped around in there. Today we are looking at Sifu. Yes, Sifu has been out for a while digitally, however if you're a bit old school like myself, I much prefer to get my hands on a physical copy of the game in which now is the time. Of course before we go any forward, all gameplay is my own, captured on a PS5. If you liked the video, hit the like button, and of course, subscribe to stay up to date with the most important channel. Mark my words. Thank you, anyone who just did that. Thank you very much. And finally, Sifu. So let's straight up go into the story. The story starts off as you are a child who witnesses your father slash fighting mentor has just been killed by the hands of a man named Yang. You are found out as the only witness to this murder and you are killed instantly by one of his henchmen. Lucky enough, you are holding some kind of mythic pendant that allows you to come back to life Fast forward a few years and later you have trained yourself in the martial arts and you are finally, it is your turn to get revenge on your father's murder, one by one taking out all the members of the gang, leading up to the leader, Yang. And that's the story, there's nothing really too much else that goes into it, the gang members have advanced their status through the different zones in this world that you must go through and take them out. The story kind of does take a back seat in my opinion. I thought as you were going through the levels it didn't necessarily matter too much until you hit these bosses where the boss moments are something so good but I'll continue to talk about that in a later point. However, something to mention that they're just fantastic and they really bring you back to the story and have done really well. I was still super happy with the simplicity of the story and it kept changing enough to keep me engaged but personally like I could have gone with just the gameplay because the gameplay is what really sells it. Now gameplay is where it gets really interesting. It's a bit complex yet simple at the same time. Strangely like a Arkham series meets Souls-like. You can button mash if you want to, but it won't work so well in the harder difficulties. You'll have to use some choreographed moves and watch your enemy for times of to parry and dodge. I want to say it's done well, if not for a couple of slip ups. Of course, the camera can be very frustrating, oftentimes glitching into the wall and leaving yourself open for a really easy hit, which can be a bit frustrating. At your disposal you of course have your light and heavy attacks along with weapons you can pick up and damage and do stagger damage. Super super useful this stagger damage and weapons. I 100% suggest picking those up the second you see them. We also have to mention something in the game design which differs to most other games and that is the life and death system. The death system is really interesting, long story short. Every time you die you age and there's a multiplier on that as well depending on your difficulty and as you age your character changes as well along with strength, strength increases but health decreases and visually your character changes and gets older getting a wider beard or hair especially the visuals. It's so good and so unique, I don't know how someone hasn't thought about it before, but that alone was enough to win me over with this game. It was so impressive and so interesting. Now, graphics and art design, of course, have gone for a more interesting, definitely more of an indie kind of vibe, but it works and it works really well in this world, especially the club and museum points where the visuals get super crazy. I had some small issues with texture problems, I will mention that but not enough to bother me, but just enough that you might get this in your experience as well, so be warned. The boss fights once again with these gang members are definitely something to mention. The graphics and the way they change depending on who you're fighting. Each boss has two phases. One phase pretty standard, the second phase goes full balls to the wall crazy, especially the one in the museum. I found the girl very, very hard to beat and that was just so awesome. I was so stunned by what I was looking at of these bright colorful by these bright colors mixed with these dark immersed backgrounds it was really really good it's quite a beautiful game now of course sound design once again especially with the boss battles they'd put a lot of effort and care into them but as you go from your standard levels before you hit the boss battle, I wasn't that intrigued with the sound design, but it was very good. It mixes with the gameplay really nice, especially the whole kung fu type of vibe they're going for. It's 
really well done and it just completes this nice perfect package. Now overall Sifu is definitely an experience to be had. I want to mention if you want to experience the game and not get incredibly frustrated, jump on easy mode. There's no shame. I am definitely not shaming you for this one. There's a couple of times, especially in that boss that I mentioned, I got my ass handed to me and that's where the Souls-like experience comes this way. So if you want to experience the game your way, I 100% suggest dropping it down to that easy mode. You'll probably be able to finish the game within one, maybe two night playthroughs. And with the harder difficulties, whoa, they are hard. So anyway, the game design, the interesting world and what they've built needs surprisingly little in the beginning to draw you in. And that's saying something. It says so much about how a game molds together and gives you all these big things to make this awesome experience. Graphics, sound design, gameplay. It's so hard that a game nowadays hits all three of those targets well, and this is what you get. A nice, good experience. Not too long, not too short, but perfect. Well, of course, not, not, not perfect. I mean, there's not a perfect perfect. We don't believe in scoring systems here, mark my words, but at the same time, I wouldn't say perfect, but a, a game worth experiencing. But of course, that is the overall look at Sifu and just of course my opinions and thoughts of the game. I hope you enjoyed this video. What did you guys think most importantly? What did you think of Sifu? Have you jumped on it early in the digital or have you been waiting like myself for the physical copy? Please comment below, let me know. I'd love to talk to you about it. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, of course, smack the like button, hit subscribe. Of course, it helps me so much and I appreciate every single one of you. I upload every Friday and I hope to be hearing from you all really soon on all the socials, Facebook, Instagram, and of course, right here on YouTube. And of course, thank you very much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. See you later.